Oh, don't worry, mate. It's clean as a nun's nasty up here. Oi, drink. A bit early, isn't it? Oh, it's never too early for a celebration. Word on the street is that you've hung up your boots with Reno and the boys. Oh, OK. Well... Good news travels quick. It's a small industry, Barrett. Come on, tough guy. A little hard start. I never hurt anyone. Hardiest congrats to you, mate. I have to say I was a little shocked when I heard the news. I mean, we've worked together for a long time now, and uh, I don't know, thought you might have let me know. That's actually why I'm here, to tell you in person. Oh, no need to explain. Good luck to whoever it is you're going to be working for from here on in. All I wanted to say. I'm not working for anyone else. Like you said, I've hung up my boots. For good. It's a bit hard to teach an old dog new tricks, isn't it? Depends on the dog. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it does. Oh, well. All the best to you. Jimmy! I'm sorry, mate. But in these funny times, you know, it's like good old George W. says. You know, with us, you're against us. Congratulations, Barrett. It's nothing personal, mate. You're fucking kidding, right? I'm out of here. You're never going to see this ugly mug again. That's right. We're going to do it properly. We're going to take you up to Lithgow and drop you down a mine. Yeah, good poison, Lithgow. Oh, that reminds me, um... Mick says to say goodbye on his behalf. You can tell Mick. I always thought he was the kind of thing that happened when cousins fucked. <laughs> you like that, I'll let him know. Let's go, sport. Did you hear about Frank Dempsey? His wife had twins. I didn't hear that. 